We finally have a date. On October 17th, smoking pot in Canada will be legal. While marijuana users are getting ready to legally light up, employers are now facing some unprecedented challenges. Regardless of how marijuana is consumed, the intoxicating effects are presenting legitimate health and safety concerns for employers. Companies will need to make changes to their workplace policies to reflect the new law. Uh, the reaction's mixed. Alison McMahon is the CEO of Cannabis at Work. Her job is to educate employers about cannabis. In safety-sensitive workplaces, drug and alcohol impairment is forbidden. However, for workplaces that are not obviously dangerous, there might not be policy regarding pot use. I would say they all need to be dusted off and they need to be reviewed in context of this modern workplace and modern, I guess, kind of substance use and abuse um, trends that we see today. Louis Francis Cuddy has been an emergency room doctor for over 30 years. He believes the legalization is moving way too quickly. There's going to be more workplace injuries, more workplace fatalities. Francis Cuddy says one of his biggest concerns is that the science of testing for impairment is hazy. If you pick up THC in somebody's bloodstream uh, to say that, you know, they're impaired, all it says is that you picked up THC. It's difficult to correlate that with impairment. McMahon is hearing the same concerns from employers coast to coast. That makes it more challenging for employers to manage this because they're potentially having to put policies in place to discipline an employee who might have traces of cannabis in their system but isn't necessarily impaired. A new report by the Conference Board of Canada reveals more than half of Canadian organizations are concerned about cannabis in the workplace. In the U.S., smoking pot is legal in nine states, but none of those laws allow residents to get high whenever or wherever they want, particularly in the workplace. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.